Our next bout of the evening is Vincent Costello taking on Noah Damron. Uh, Vincent Costello, uh, 22 years of age, fighting out of uh, Warriors Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Yeah, um, I was in uh, seventh grade and uh, I got beat up on a, a schoolyard. Well, there was a local Jiu-Jitsu Academy around the corner from my house and uh, within a matter of days I was, uh, I was hooked. So I've been uh, training pretty much year round since uh, I was a little kid. So it's, it's been about 11 years. I'd, uh, I'd like to place my opponent in a Khabib style pin type position um, and then land some significant strikes until the ref pulls me off of them. My name is Noah Damron. I'm 23 years old and I'm fighting out of Huntsville, Alabama. Um, gym is RCMMA. I've been training off and on about a little over a year now. So right now what I do for work is I'm a part of a ammo logistics team. Uh, we transport ammo for a test center down in Huntsville for the Redstone Arsenal. MMA, it's helped to humble me a lot, uh, you know, um, just kind of re realizing the respect of fighting. I appreciate you stepping in, uh, Vincent. It means a lot because I was working really hard and so, you know, I'm glad that you made weight and everything and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Noah Dameron's out of Rocket City MMA. Rocket City's got a bunch of killers right now. They had uh, Blair Prince when he was there. Hello. All right. Vincent Costello making his way to the cage, making his debut out of Warrior BJJ. And you heard it in the introductions, a story we hear so well, getting beat up. And you find your way into a mixed martial arts gym, and then next thing you know, you're here inside the cage. It just goes to show that the martial arts it does so much uh, for the development of these young men and women uh, who participate, and it can really get you out of a tough spot. That sure. kid's 135 pounds. I want to know who was picking on that kid. I don't know who was picking on Vincent Costello. I want to know who that guy was. You have to have been a brave person. That kid looks terrifying. He does have a very, very tough fight, though, coming out of Rocket City MMA. They've got a bunch of really nasty killers up there. They've got Blair Prince. they got Bear Hill. A lot of good people. They've got a whole bunch of people on this card, and they're, they're really growing as a gym. Chandler, how much does the background of a young uh, competitor play into what's going on here? When you hear about being bullied and and then making your way into the cage. Actually, let, uh, hold that thought for a second. We're gonna send it back to Jennifer, and then I'm gonna get your, your response. And his opponent making his way to the cage, please welcome Noah Dameron. All right, Noah Dameron making his way to the cage. O and O representing Rocket City MMA. And as I was saying before, Chandler, uh, when, you know, when you have all of this adversity as a, as a young individual growing up, you're getting bullied, uh, you know, just the background in general, how much does that play into a young fighter? You know, you see it here on this amateur level, and then you, you can even see it at the highest of levels, man. George St. Pierre has a wonderful story about how he was bullied, got into martial arts, and then, you know, it's really structured his life as well. So uh, it's crazy how a story like that can take you from fighting here in Chattanooga to fighting for a world title. So, yeah, I love stories like that, and it's a great one to follow. And uh, good for these guys, man. And, you know, I was a little tongue-tied on the first one. Uh, but this second fight, someone's O does have to go. It does, it does. <laughs> someone's O has to go. Uh, Rocket City's traveling too, man. They brought a whole bunch of people with them. You can hear it. Huntsville's what, hour and a half, two hours, maybe three hours yeah. away. And they brought a crew with them today. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, it's a little early to say it, but I'm gonna say now, I think Rocket City's probably gonna get a sweep today. I'm gonna, th I'm gonna say they okay. probably don't lose today. Okay. They're training hard, they're putting in work. You know, and, and something about the youth competitors that the fans will travel for. Yes, you yes. see it in flow wrestling, you see it in all these different uh, uh, sports uh, of all sorts, but even in combat sports, especially in combat sports. See Noah Dameron there. Getting the, the grease on the eyes. How old is Noah? They both look like adults. <laughs> oh, here we go. Noah Dameron now way, making his way into the cage. Oh, With that wow. being said, we're going to send it up to Jennifer for our official introductions. This mixed martial arts bat is contested in the featherweight division. First, 
Fighting to my right in the blue corner, he weighed in at 144 pounds. Represents warrior BJJ, and tonight he's making his mixed martial arts debut, Vincent Costello. I want some birth certificates. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and his opponent across the cage to my left in the red corner, he weighed in at 144 pounds. Represents Rocket City MMA, and tonight he is making his MMA debut, Noah Damron. Your referee when the action begins is Chandler Goins. To have such a big crowd with him, he sounds, he seems incredibly calm. All right, here we go. Mixed martial arts in the bantamweight division. You see uh, Vincent Costello in the blue trunks. Noah Dameron in the white. And these guys they are ready. ready. They're at the bit. Yeah. Here we go. Here you we know, go. I didn't have abs like that when I was a kid, but in all <laughs> fairness, I've never had abs, so. I don't have abs like that now. Ooh, he's going for the take right. A good underhooks right there. Costello said, you heard him in the in the intro, he was ready to get it to the ground. Oh, Fashions oh, oh. himself a Dagestani style grappler. Oh, if, big oh. right hand. These guys are throwing oh. fisticuffs. If you've done jujitsu, you know, and, and that's your go-to, you definitely want to try to get the, the 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 fight to the ground. You don't want to test, really, take your chances on the feet right now. Oh, oh big right hand. Good but he take gets down. Knocking it down. That's a tough kid. He's got the neck though, maybe. Yo, he has a good to get. No, okay, right he does. He does. He does it. Heads out. And this is where. Uh, Passing Vincent the guard fairly be. easily. Passing the guard fairly. Oh, no, no, no. Uh oh, he may have his back, though. Yep. And now and he's he out. Fairly easily. Full mount. You see there, Noah Dameron, though, with his feet close to the cage. You've always got to watch out for that because you can, that can make holding the mount tricky for the top competitor. You know, Vincent's uh, nose is bleeding right now. I'd say he... He took one of them shots on the feet and decided like at that moment, no, we are wrestling. And it, I've been in that moment time and time again. It looked like he was hurting for a second. I think you're right. I think he took a hard right hand just before he hit that takedown. That right was nasty. Oh, now oh, throwing some oh. shots. He's got to watch out for the flattened shots out. to the back of the head. But now looking for the RNC. He might have it. He's flattened out. Hey, He's hey. flattened out. He's raining He's got him down right now. Chandler, what should he do here to get up? He needs to rotate his hips and try to get at least one free. And from there, he can kind of base up and kind of work on either bumping him to, you know, in front or dropping him off to the side. Uh, but man, this is hard right here. Hard to do. Chandler Goins watching closely. He's not going to let it go too far. Noah Dameron has taken a lot of shots here. And again, Costello uh, nasty opening up. Pound. And this is hard, guys, uh, yeah. especially being in mount, your first fight. Uh, but now, you know, he's making oh. some wiggle room. Get a, oh. get a scramble. But, but he's he has to watch the arm bar. 30 Ooh. seconds left in this round. Can Noah Dameron survive it? I think he's tired. He's huffing oh. and puffing, man. And it's kind of like a crucifix, but his Brad's arm's off it. the side. He's he needs to try it. to ghost, ghost shrimp right now. Pop up. Ah, he can't pop up. He ain't got no gas. 12 seconds left he in this first round. He just has to survive. Round. Tough kid, though. Tough kid. He's, uh, he's defending, he's moving. Uh, Darren he heard uh, the clacker, and he is making every attempt to move. I'm breathing heavy, so let's let's see what he does standing up. That kid's jacked. I'm in and out right now, in, out, in, out. Have have that pattern really ma messing with him, but. Oh, oh, right, oh, oh. oh. And Costello able to close the distance. And this is exactly the key to victory right here. You gotta. He's already tired of the Should shrimp. he keep the neck or let go? Let go. Let go? I would let go and try to shrimp. Get, use the cage. As a, the cage is also a weapon. It is It is its own technique. And uh, you can do a lot of things from there to stand up. However, though, he's using a lot of his pressure right now. And full mail mail. Right. You see Costello there to, putting pressure in. And it's going to be hard. I would hold this arm and I'd, I'd send it home. As a question, could he have, when it, when it, once the takedown happened, could he have sat up and pushed his back to the cage? Yes. Would that have been okay? Yes, yes, he could have. Uh, okay. But now we're in this position, so, yeah. uh, <laughs> so I don't. Uh, he needs to oh, watch for this here leg. Oh, we go. Got to be careful there, though. He just ain't got no explode once he rolls, man. He's 
tired. First fight, man, everybody knows what that feels like. That incredible adrenaline dump. There's nothing like it in the world. And as you see here, Vincent Costello looking to Real finish naked. with the RNC. Real naked. Game over? I don't know. Darren I don't know. is he fighting. Doesn't look look he, at him. He looked over here. He looked over here at us like, no way, bro. <laughs> you know, he doesn't He doesn't look like he's in too much trouble, but he it when he oh, readjusts oh, it, how tight's it going to be? And he's taking shots he's while taking he's shots doing it. He's taking shots for sure, so. man. And that being said, first fight, Vincent Costello, he has to watch blowing up himself. He you know, does. pushing too hard. Because again, if Dameron survives him, goes into the third. Uh, it's under the chin, but he's got to get the other hand. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that kid's tough. Dameron's tough. Oof. He is. Flattening he, him out, I think that's going to be it. it. I think, no. Yeah. Oh, there that's it is. Done. Deal. Good. Vincent five, Costello. Good. Your referee stops this fight at one minute and 52 seconds into the second round. For your winner by way of rear naked choke submission, out of the blue corner, Vincent Costello. Sean Water is the best. I love this stuff. I think it was pretty close. Hey, the lights were a little loud. Uh, the noise was a little bright, something like that. I had fun though. I had a lot of fun, so it's pretty much what I expected. Hey, you know, let me say this. My teammate Keenan's coming out here at 44 tonight and making his MMA debut. I just wanted to say, the strength of a man is not test him when he's comfortable. It's when he voyages into the unknown. Because it isn't his body that moves him forward, it's his mind. So Keenan, you're the man.